Hello, I'm Bovan. I couldn't do a proper video about singular pronouns, so in this video you will learn about singular pronouns. Before we start the video, remember to watch this video until the end. I have an important announcement. Okay, let's start with the most basic word. Mama. Mama. This can mean I or me. Sometimes we pronounce this word as mong. Mong. So mama or mong means I or me. Next word, oya. Oya. Oya means you, but this is the singular word. Oya. Ea. Ea. He or she. This word can mean he or she. Ea. Ea. Api. Api. We or us. Api. Next, the plural word of oya. That is oyala. Oyala. Oyala means you in plural. The plural word of ea is eala. Eala. They. Eala. The word it is a bit different in singular. If you want to talk about an animal, the word is u. 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 Literally means that animal. U. The plural word is ung. Ung. These two words are used to talk about people as well. But it is not that polite and sometimes it might sound a bit rude. So if you hear these words, it might mean that they are talking about people. But normally, these two words are used to talk about animals. And there are some people who call animals as ea as well, which means he or she. Next, if you want to talk about an object, the word is eka. Eka. This literally means that thing. Eka. That thing. The plural word is eva, meaning those things. Eva. You can learn more about these two words from this and that video. Now let's look at the possessive forms of these words. Normally, you can make a living being noun to a possessive form easily by adding ge to it. This is how it is with like 99% of the words. But remember, you can do this only with living beings. Let's look at some examples. Oya means you. Oya ge, your. Ea, he or she. Ea ge, her or his. Oya la, you in plural. Oya la ge, your in plural. Ea la, they. Ea la ge, their. U, that animal. Uge or uge, bad animals. But when we add something to the word mama, normally we remove the last ma from that word. So, after removing that last ma and adding ge, it becomes mage. Mage means my or mine. Mage. Next word is api. Api is also an exception. Api changes to ape. Api, ape. Api means we and ape means our or ours. Now we looked at some living being nouns. But making a non-living thing to a possessive form is a bit different. Most of the times in singular, some words, suffixes and grammar changes according to what you're talking about is a living being or not. And in some cases, it changes whether it's plural or not. So, when we're talking about non-living possessive forms, if it's a singular word, we change the vowel sound of the last letter to e. e. Example, 
Eka changes to eke. This actually means off it. Example sentence Eke battery eka hondai. Eke battery eka hondai. The battery of it is good. But if you're talking about a plural word, what you have to do is add the word vala. Vala. Example Eva means those things. Eva vala means of those things. Eva, Eva vala. Example sentence Eva vala battery Hyundai. The batteries of those things are good. But in day to day life, you might hear people say this as Eva la or sometimes Eva ye. Anyway, I hope you learned something new. If you didn't understand something, let me know that in the comment section. Before the announcement, I just want to give a quick shout out to my student and a subscriber, Carl. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. Okay, it's time for the announcement. So, I'm going to do a free singular event every month on Discord. Yes, that's the announcement. In these events, you can practice and learn Sinhala for free. These events are not on my Lingo Crown Discord server, but I will add the links for those events on Lingo Crown Discord server too. If you want to join these events, join this language learning Discord server called Linguayama using the link in the description box. If you don't know how to use Discord, first download Discord and create an account on Discord. And then simply click on the link in the description box with the name Lingua Yama. You can also join Lingo Crown Discord server, which is my server. The link for that also in the description box below. After joining Lingua Yama Discord server, click events on that server and click interested to this Sinhala event on the 13th. When you scroll down a bit on that server, you will see a channel called Backup Learning. Click that and on the right side, you will see this. Click on this Sri Lankan flag here and the role Singhala Learner will be added to your profile. We will have more events in the future, hopefully at least one event a month. So if you want to join this, Check these events and when there is a single event, click interested and at the time of the event, click on this link with a speaker icon. The first class is on the 13th May 2022, so hurry up. Again, it's free, so feel free to join. I will have more free sessions in the future, so stay tuned. That's all for this video. If you have any questions about Singhala or how to join Discord, Ask me in the comment section. Ehenang, ilang video kang hambe mo. Bye bye!